What's up, everyone? My tank's empty. You can see it. I'm wearing a hat. Yeah, don't judge me. Sorry. Anyway, um, I need to refill that. And I guess we should refill it. It is the Aspire. That is correct. You have seen correctly. It's the Aspire. Ooh. Nautilus. The pen fell off and it like just totally broke open into many pieces. That's weird. That's what we're left with. <laughs> Guess we ain't gonna use that one anymore. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, completely broke. Just falling off the desk on the floor. We're gonna talk about this, the Aspire. Um just literally like just getting out of bed here. And uh, so I'm a little hoarse and uh, a little groggy yet, you know. And it was a late night for me, and we went to, well, well down here in South Dakota, I'm in Hot Springs, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from Sturgis, maybe, give or take. And... So, with the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, it brings with it a lot of music. However, this year's lineup at the Buffalo Chip and the stupid Full Throttle Saloon, which, if you've ever seen the Full Throttle Saloon reality show, the bar is actually nothing like that. The owner does not represent South Dakota well. I'm just going to go on record and say that, just to kind of help protect South Dakota's good name. That um, Anyway, um... Everybody around here that goes to Full Throttle, the only time there's excitement or action going on at Full Throttle is if you happen to be at an area in the Full Throttle where there's actually a camera there. And the people are like passing out $20 bills, $50 bills to people to make these scenes interesting. It's all fake. It's all put out. Just like most reality shows these days. Except this one. And... Um, so that's just kind of a little fun fact. But anyway, so we, I went up yesterday to go check out Chris Duarte. That's who's on the hat here. And uh, he's an amazing guitar player. I mean, I'd say he's in the top three, top five, you know, greatest guitar players in the world that I have, you know, ever seen. And I'm, you know, I play guitar, so I'm really into that. And it was a nice, quiet little gig. Well, it wasn't a quiet one, but it was a nice, like, more downsized type of a show because there's so much music going on in Sturgis these these artists will play you know shows that are uh, just easier to just walk I mean I was able to walk right up got a picture taken with him you know the old hey, are you I'm Reggie so oh, yeah we're friends okay so that was fun though me and my uh, my drummer Rod went up there and and uh, we did some flying RC copters and stuff first. And shot up there, saw the concert, came back, ate at Chili's. I like Chili's. It's pretty cool, you know, over there in Rapid. And zipped back to his house. We did some more flying. And uh, just an all-around good day, man. And uh, so, yeah, just bragging, I guess. I don't know if I'm sharing my day with you. I don't know why, but I am. And the rally is almost over, and I am happy about that. You're always happy to see him leave goodbye and uh, you know things get back to normal get to be a little quieter because all day literally all of our little towns here it's a roar a steady roar of bikes and uh, so that's all I have to say about that we're gonna talk about specifically these with these this this Nautilus now those of you that have ever followed me closely know that the Aspire Nautilus I'm not a big fan of I haven't been a huge fan of um, yeah, I like it. I vape out of it, you know, and the flavor was all right. But I, these things, these things, the heads, I was replacing every, like, two days. That's uh, not going to work for me. Things like the K-Fun, uh, which, are, which are so wonderful in everything, and really everything that they do, um, from flavor to vapor to, uh, most importantly to me, which is why you don't really mind maybe spending a hundred bucks on one of those because you're never going to buy a head for it. You are never going to replace, well, you're going to replace the head, but you know, you're just replacing the cotton. How, and essentially you never have to purchase a head again. And that's big considering with the Nautilus, I had to pretty much replace these every couple of days or three days at the most. There was a lot like a, a cardamizer, which is the reason I stopped using cardamizers. 
Um, even though cardamizers gave me, you know, some of the best flavor there is, I don't think there's just, I really just don't think there's much on the market that I can think of that gets much better when it comes to true, pure flavor than still a, a good old cardamizer. But it gets expensive because, you know, you have to replace them every couple of days. And it's just when this other technology exists that, like the Vivinova, I can get a month out of a head, or, um, or the K-Fine, I never even have to buy heads. I'm sorry, I'm going to go for the money-saving thing, and I'm going to vape these other tanks, even though I love Cardos. So, I stopped vaping this pretty much. You know, I would pick it up once in a while because I would always have a cinnamon juice in here because I love that it's glass, and it's well-built. I mean, the thing's a tank. It's great. And uh, so I would have a cinnamon juice, and I would enjoy that. And, uh, you know, cinnamon roll, whatever you got the cinnamon, you can put it in here. So that it was always handy for that, if nothing else. And I could pick it up, and, and if I wasn't vaping on it all that much, well, then I'm not going through that many heads. So I made that work, right? And, uh, well, then everybody started talking about these new heads that, uh, Oh, therefore, the Aspire Nautilus Mini. It's a new tank that's out. It's a mini. It's a mini version of this. Looks just like this, only smaller. And that's all you need to know. And the heads, but the heads are different. How are the heads different? In the Aspire Nautilus, I believe the old ta uh, heads were a dual coil, sideways, you know, horizontal type of a setup with a wick, and uh, you know, the typical kind of thing. With this, it's a vertical. Or with these, these, it's a vertical. Vertical up and down, coil up and down, no wick, it is surrounded by a polyester filling to the best of my knowledge, which is exactly, exactly what a cardamizer is. So, they've changed it up. Now, when you hold up the heads, when you change one of these out for the first time, as you can see, I've only done one, um, I held it up to the old one and I started thinking, hmm. I'm wondering if the ad that I bought these from at bottom on eBay was maybe misleading because it looks exactly identical to the one that was already in here. In every way, it looked identical. I thought, well, it, I looked at the package again, and it said, yeah, Spire Nautilus Mini and stuff. And uh, I was like, okay, well, I'll just put it in, right? It was awesome. It was awesome. I did let it soak for a little bit. You know, I put the juice in and... Uh, um, let it sit for a little bit, and I did some, uh, you know, puffs, you know, little priming puffs, and waited for bubbles to happen, which they did, and I waited some more, because I just wanted to make sure I didn't, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that, the, that, that it was good and saturated, and it was just awesome. The vapor, the first thing I noticed, flavor and vapor immediately were way better. I mean, it was like night and day difference compared to the other Nautilus heads. Even though they looked identical, there is something different about these, and that's because they are vertical, surrounded with like a polyester filling, no wick, just like a cardamizer. So my concern from that point was, okay, well, that's great. Are they going to be like a cardamizer, though, where a lot of times you can only get a few days out of them? Um, especially, you know, with cardamizers, I found that I could get away with, with a little bit more um, and have more time with them if if my juices were on the light side and thin side so high in the PG versus VG ratio and you know lighter in color not dark juices well I've got kind of a dark juice and uh, I had almost a hundred percent VG I put it in and I vaped on it for like two solid days no problem just kept delivering. I was able to maximize my wattage almost and not get any burning flavor out of it. I mean, I've I've been rocking this thing. Well, first thing let's do, let's fill this up. Anyway, I mean, I'm trying to remember what what wattage I've been vaping at mostly. I want to say that I've been doing like 15 to 17 watts does it effortlessly. No problem. Hot vape, warm vape. Couldn't do that with the old heads. I can do that with the new heads. Flavor is way more. Vapor production is way better. And it seems to be able to deliver and do about anything that even the K-Fun can do. 
Now, I heard Grim Green say that he leaves his K-Fun at home now and now uses the Nautilus because of this new head. And I thought, well, that's a pretty bold statement, man. Because a lot of people love the K-Fun, and that's like their all-day, everyday vape, you know. And for mine, it was mine, too. And uh, so I thought, well, I've got to try this, right? And uh, just so we're, you know, might as well cover it. Uh, we're going to fill this. We're going to take the top or the bottom. That's actually the bottom out. You can see that rubber all around there. That's how it seals itself. It's really just a nifty tank, man. This is the head right there. Um, and that would unscrew. Um, actually, no. That will actually pull out of here. That actually does screw into the bottom. It just seems to unscrew every time I refill it for some reason, which is no big deal. I just screw the bottom back on and it's fine. But um, I wonder if I should try and pull that out of there. I don't really have a tool. So it's like, like I said, it's been doing this a lot. Um, and it's, like I said, again, it's no big deal. It's working fine. You just put the bottom back on and that's that. But I thought I might, I might have to use a tool to get that out. Um, you know, like a pair of pliers or something. What, buddy? Are you going to start working on the part of that? Here in just a little bit, let me finish shooting a video. Anyway, I can't seem to get it out of there, but uh, that's fine. I don't care. Let's not worry about it. It comes out, trust me, and I'll get it out. So, here's a, another a, a new juice that I like even better as far as this banana bread. It smells so nice. Here's the banana bread that I've been using that's been my favorite up to this point. From, comes from TKO Vapor. And, uh, you know, it's nice and thick. And uh, whatever. It's good. But I finally found one that I like better. It's a uh, banana nut bread again. Take my face out of there. It might focus for you. Or not. Just trust me. It says banana nut bread. There it is. Shake well. Pink spot vapors. So if, uh, you know, you're curious, you're into it, I got a... Comes as a standard 60-40 blend. 60 ZG, 40. I got the lowest nicotine level. Love it. Love it. That is my new banana bread of choice. Just a fun fact. That's all. Let's fill it up. I didn't shake it well, so I should probably do that. And I've been a big fan of that. I think this might be the first bottle that I've ever bought that flat out says shake well on it. And that's something I've always naturally done because I've always felt like ingredients and different things could have a tendency to separate. So that's important to shake it. So I always do. All right, so I shook it, and we fill. We just stick it in there, and we're going to just go nuts, man. You can go all the way to the top of that glass. I usually don't, though, but you can. And I, I've done that, and I've had no problem. Go. And uh, start screwing. Come on, baby. I didn't screw anything up when I was trying to yank that out of there, because usually this already goes easier. We just... What's going on, man? Hmm. How could I have messed anything up? I don't that makes no sense to me. kind of glad it's happening on video. I mean, it's kind of bittersweet, you know, but... Oh, here we go. Yeah, I, caught, I captured it. I just had to get some threads, is all. Now, see, at that point, I could probably use it, but I'm kind of scared. I'm scared to do this because I've got it filled with liquid, you know, and if, I'm, if I go yanking on this to pull that head out of there, I'm afraid I might actually... Um, Spill a bunch of juice everywhere because it's going to go pop and then the juice is going to go blah. I don't want that to happen. So, I don't know. I'm going to just mess with it a second here. Hmm. Uh. Am I making progress? I don't know. 
Yeah, I'm just not going to worry about it for now. I'll deal with that later whenever I have to change out the head. That's the other thing. So that's what we were talking about. That's kind of where we left off here. Juicy fingers. Um, you know, when I was using cardamizers, if I used a lighter juice and a thin juice, I could get a week out of them usually. And that was cool, you know. But at that time, I baked a lot of darker juices that were uh, thicker at the same time. So just like, God, I don't want to have to change the juices that I really am enjoying right now just so I can use cardamizers, you know. So, uh, you know, I just had a tendency to just go for the other things that uh, where the heads would last as long or, I mean, last longer or uh, the dripping systems when they came out uh, that I didn't or rebuilding these tanks when we started being able to do that. So didn't have to replace heads anymore because it's just it gets for me man it gets a little expensive if it's gonna start getting comparable to buying a pack of cigarettes which it's not I get it it's not but when it gets more along the lines I mean to me uh, we do this uh, because it's more affordable because we're saving money too I mean not just the health health should obviously be number one but there should you might as well have perks in other areas like expense you know and budget so Right now, I've got this thing at what? Let's well, it's at 20 watts right now, but let's let's come down to 16.5 watts. How about that? And instantly, listen, listen, listen. Awesome, flavor is right there. I mean, it's a warm vape. I probably shouldn't even say warm. I should probably say hot. You know, that's that's getting on the verge of a hot vape, which I love. And I have a tendency to keep it on as far as the airflow control. Um, there's four different settings on the on these guys. There is little tiny. And, uh, you know, I've got a Nautilus review where you can see all this plainly. You just turn this little wheel, wait for a click, and then you're locked in the next one. There's tiny, there's a little bigger, there's bigger yet, and then there's really big. Really big, you know, uh, lung hits, no problem. Yes. <laughs> wow. <coughs> stuff has a good throat hit and the, uh, this thing seems to put out a nice throat hit um, I go for not the next one down I could I could easily just stay right with this one because um, it's pretty comfortable it's nice and airy nice and loose um, Look at all that vapor, though. This thing is amazing for the vapor production. And usually I don't care so much about that. But I was amazed at the kind of vapor this thing puts out. I mean, it's like, it's almost, it's like a, <clears throat> it's like a good dripper, man, where you've got these, this, you know, insane microcoil build at 0.1 ohms, you know, and firing six volts through it, um, where it's just this clouds of vapor. But often in my experience with those, it's easy to get clouds of vapor, but the flavor they tend to lack for me. Um, and they say that when it comes to flavor, I've heard it said that the reason the K-Fun do, does so well with flavor is, you know, the chamber that, that, that the vapor is coming out of, that the coil is built inside of, has everything to do with flavor. The smaller it is, the thinner it is, then the more concentrated the vapor and the flavor become. And, and and that seems completely logical because a lot of the dripping systems, uh, rebuildable RDAs, um, I find that they lack in flavor. But most of the time, it's not like the K-Fun. The K-Fun, sure, it looks big, but a lot of this, what you're seeing is, is the liquid is sitting in the tank. That's not where the coil build is. It's that part inside, that center metal thing that you see in there through the tank. That's where the build is, and it's a lot smaller than the overall tank that you see here, and that's why it's more concentrated, which is why we get such good flavor out of a cave fun. <coughs> and uh, 
Same thing with this. Same thing with a lot of tanks, a lot of, uh, you know, clearos out there. You know, this is the tank, but inside that cylinder area, you know, where it uh, jets out a little bit down there, you know, it's, it's a thinner thing and it's straight to you. Just a little fun fact, so they say. And uh, then maybe they're wrong. I don't know. Maybe they're right. So take that for what you will. Um, but anyway, when I saw, like, these clouds of vapor coming out of a clearomizer, well, it's a lot like a Cardo. Cardos do excellent. This is a single coil, whereas the old ones, I'm pretty sure, were a dual coil. I'm almost positive. I just know they are. And uh, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me, but I'm pretty sure they are. Dang it. Anyway, I wish I could say it with more certainty. Usually I can. I should be able to. But <clears throat> anyway, this is a single coil for sure. Losing a coil, probably. Guys. And uh, my dogs are playing. Um, and yet, way more vapor. And that's just another thing about cardamizers that were so awesome. But this thing seems to put out even more vapor than a cardo does, than the old, big, uh, rugged cardos. I wish I had a cardo in front of me, but I just don't. I got one back there, but, you, you know, there's no need for that. Um, it just, I was worried, because when I heard, okay, they're like cardos. They're exactly like cardos. And I saw, you know, the size of these things. I mean, these are nothing like the old cardos. The old Cardos were way bigger, you know, things like that. And I'm like, well, it's, I understand that the technology is there and everything, that it's built like a Cardamizer and everything, but these are a lot smaller in volume. You know, it's probably going to be a smaller coil and everything else. It's probably not going to be as good as a regular good old Cardamizer, but I was wrong. If nothing, it's better. And, uh, <clears throat> and the flavor, you know, I just can't believe the flavor. I can't believe that I can get a hot vape out of this. Now, I have been vaping on this for five solid days and chain vaping it almost you know really trying to put it through that torture test that I like to do I've tried thick juices I've tried thin juices I didn't want to put this review out right away because I really wanted to test this thing <coughs> anyway I'm at five days thing is still not even a hint of burnt flavor anywhere it's putting out just like it was when I first put the head in on the box that came with these it flat out said be sure to change your heads, for, you know, to maximize your flavor and performance every two weeks. Replace your head. And I thought, well, if I can get two weeks out of a head, that is sweet, right? Because um, you can get a pack of five for like 15 bucks. And uh, figure you replace them every two weeks. You're going through two heads in a month, uh, which means you only have to buy a pack of five every two and a half months and it's pretty affordable man you know um that breaks down into five dollars uh, a month almost or six fifty or whatever you know no problem okay but also to me because it says you know this is a 30 some dollar tank this is a hundred dollar tank I can understand why they almost need to charge a hundred bucks for something like this with all the work that went into the K fund to build this and at such quality and you know the machining and everything. I understand why they need a hundred bucks out of this. Why? Because this company, the people that built this, are not going to sell you heads. You're doing all that yourself and you're just replacing the cotton once in a while. So the only money this company is ever gonna make is by the sale of this thing here. Whereas clearomizers from the Vivinova to the Aero Tank to the Pro Tanks, all of those, every one of them, they also are making money off of selling heads. So a $30 tank here, which is pretty pricey for a clearomizer, but definitely worth it for what you're getting, especially now that we have a good head to go in it. They're able to, you know, sell these things a little cheaper. And, you know, let's face it, this is not as strong and beefy as this. However, it is a glass tank, which I love. And, uh, you know, so you can put any juice you want in there. It doesn't matter. And then with these new heads, it's like it rounded it out nice. <clears throat> it finally gave you the whole package. You can spend your 30 35 bucks, whatever, for this tank. And you can probably find it cheaper on eBay. Or you can get the mini one if this looks a little too big for you, because this is a pretty monster tank. However, for me, I'm not a fan of mini tanks. I just never have been. I don't like the mini Vivi Nova even. 
and it's just me, that's me, doesn't mean that you have to be that way. I'm just saying that's only me, and you do whatever you like. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, this thing with this tank, I can fill it, and I usually get like a day and a half out of it before I ever have to crack it loose and fill it again. Whereas every other tank I've ever had, I'm filling it two times, sometimes three times a day, if, especially if i got to go to work and I'm up for 24 hours straight, you know, um, <clears throat> that, yeah, I'm constantly having to fill it. Whereas this thing, all day long, never fill it. I'll get into hours into the next day, if not half a day, sometimes, uh, you know, whatever. It, it's just, and I don't even have to fill it until it, it runs empty and I fill it, and I'm good for another, like, day and a half every time. And that's awesome to me. So finally, we have the whole package because of these heads. And congratulations to the Nautilus, you know, the um, Aspire company for obviously acknowledging that we have a potentially great product here. Some people love it, but some people don't. What can we do to make it better? What can we do to fix it? What can we do to improve this? And every complaint that I had about it, they have completely remedied and fixed. And I think that speaks volumes about any company in, in any business. I don't care what it is. If there's complaints about anything, and whatever company that put that out all of a sudden introduces something new that remedies all of that, that tells me their customer service is awesome. That tells me they care about their customers. And those companies are going to be in business a long time, you know, because there's a lot of tanks where it's like, oh, I'm not big on it. You know, their complaints happen and nothing gets fixed. Nothing changes because you got some people that might like it and they're selling enough and they just call, ah, it's good, whatever. Whereas these guys say they, uh, they didn't do that. They said, all right, let's come up with something different. And like they had to have, I mean, you know, so I, I'm really impressed by that. That says a lot about the company. So yes, I have been leaving my K-Fun at home. Yes, I've been vaping on nothing but this, and I have no desire to vape. I mean, don't get me wrong. This thing is every bit as good as this. You know, it might actually lack in a couple of things because the flavor is a little different with this, and, and I don't know, I just like it. You know, uh, I've heard people say, I've been looking at the forums, and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, for some reason I'm liking the flavor I'm getting out of the Nautilus with the same juice versus a K-Fun, just a little better. It seems to uh, give you a little bit more of a sweetness, especially if you're using sweet juices. It's going to really bring out those sweet flavors more than even a K-Fun will. But, and I, and then there's a lot of people that have said that, that yes, I, they agree 100%, yes, they just seem to like the flavor that's coming out of this a little bit better. And I can see that. I And I would have to jump on that bandwagon as well. So, yeah. I could literally live the rest of my life with a decent mod, something like this, $100 mod, what to do. Or, you know, I mean, I'm not, whatever. I, I could use a Vamo too. I would not have a problem in the world. Everybody's having good luck with Vamos in these. This is a different technology uh, when it comes to the modulation of the electrical current, but it makes no difference uh, according to the forums and whatever, the buzz that are around. And people are using Vamos, people are using everything with these. And they're just stellar awesome. So <clears throat> I think that really covers everything. Yeah, I would never need anything else. Now, something I wanted to mention, because it said you can replace it two weeks, every two weeks on the box, um, or that you should replace it every two weeks, that almost tells me they're pushing you. Oh, come on, put it in your head in every couple of weeks. That tells me that we could probably get more than two weeks out of, the, out of, out of a head. And if we can, you better believe I'm going to do it. But... Um, I'll try to do an update later to let you know how that part of it goes. Other than that, I cannot recommend this enough. The Nautilus has won me over. It went from a tank that I kind of loathed, that I kind of got impatient with, that kind of frustrated me at times, that kind of always made me end up just, uh, you know what, screw this and putting a different tank on. You know, I would choose the Bibi Nova over it. Not anymore. You'll probably never see me vape on a Bibi Nova again. And that says a lot. Because I... It has it all going on. You want a cold vape, it's there. You want a warm vape, it's there. You want a hot vape, it's pretty much there. Um, I haven't, you know, <coughs> I haven't gone to, you know, like uh, 
30 watts or anything because I don't even want to try it. There's no need to because I am completely satisfied. This thing satisfies my every single need and I'm a picky vapor. I like my hot vape. It handles thick juices. It handles dark juices. It handles light juices. It handles thin juices. Never floods. Never leaks. Flavor is as good as I've ever had. And vapor, we've seen it. You've seen the vapor. Awesome. <laughs> and I've got it on that thicker, you know, second to the thickest, second to the largest pole airflow. Personally, for me, I like it on the next one down. So there's four spots, which means I like it on the third. You know, it's uh, still a pretty airy draw. But to me, anytime you tighten up the draw, you're increasing uh, the vacuum, which means it's going to draw more juice in. And so sometimes you've got to just kind of figure that out for whatever juice you're using. Now, when I was using that really thick juice, I definitely kept it on this so that every time I took a vape, I saw bubbles shooting up. And uh, But I did do it on the airier ports as well. didn't seem to have a problem. And... Uh, but it also changes flavor. That's the other thing about your airflow control. Some people, they just put it on the wide open and they just leave it there. Experiment with that. Taste the difference. For me, I like that. Uh, is that it? Let me make sure I'm right on that. Yep, I am right. The second to the smallest seems to have, for this particular juice anyway, uh, just a nice flavor. I like the type of flavor it gives. They're all fantastic. But they all kind of have their own unique flavor that they're giving. You know, some people with this juice would probably like the uh, the the open one um, a little more open, better. You know, and that's where it's just a subjective thing. That's a personal taste. So, yeah, I just like it. Anyway, what more can I say, guys? I love it. This is one of those things for me where I, I'm, it's, it's very exciting. When things like this come along, when things like the K-Fun come along, when things like the Vivinova come along for the very first time, and, 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 and you've never vaped on a clearomizer in your life, or the iClear 30, or even an Aero Tank or a Pro Tank. Um, it's exciting. I remember when the when the cartomizer first came out, and it was like, wow, now this is something. It's exciting, and that's what's fun about vaping. When these things happen that are just a kind of a breakthrough, something new, something different, a bottom coil. There was a time you could never get a warm vape out of any bottom coil. This is one of a few now that I can get a warm and even a hot vape out of a bottom coil, which means there's no more tilting and tipping. I like that. Um, but yet it doesn't flood. I mean, it's just, it, I love where we're coming. I love where we're going, uh, you know, and where we're getting to be with vaping. And it makes me excited about the future, um, so long as the government keeps their damn hands out of it, um, which they never seem to be able to do with anything. <coughs> but, you know, whatever. I just try not to think about it, otherwise it just... It'd drive a man insane, and yeah, that's about all you can do right now. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just excited. This is awesome. You guys got to try it. You make it, but you have to make sure if you're gonna get these heads. It's not like you're gonna, you know, get on and just look for Aspire Nautilus heads. Because guess what? If you look for the basic Aspire Nautilus heads, chances are you're gonna get the standard old heads. You have to order the Aspire Nautilus Mini heads. So make sure Mini is involved. Make sure when you go to order it that it says Mini heads. They're the same head. Yeah, I don't know why, and hopefully they'll straighten that out and they'll do away <coughs> with all those old heads and be done with that and go to these exclusively. The box that they came in did not say Mini. That's the other thing that got me worried when I was holding them up to each other, the old versus the new, and I'm like, oh shoot, and it doesn't say mini on the box, but it was legit. So that kind of tells me 
I'd like to think that means, you know, they're going to just do away with their old one and eventually we can just buy any old Aspire Nautilus head from any website and it's going to be this. So for now, make sure you do that. Make sure it says mini. So that's all I got for you guys. And uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed it, man, because I did. You have a vape. Mm -mm -mm. I'll see you on the other side.